Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about hair color sprays. Halloween is right around the corner and I know a lot of people are probably going to be purchasing some wigs or hair color sprays for temporary hair color for their costume. And I have <laughs> tried quite a few brands, so I thought I would come on here and bestow some knowledge of the brands that I like, the brands that I don't like, some things that I like about the brands, some things that I don't like about the particular sprays, um, just to kind of help you think of this more as like a buying guide to help you kind of invest your money wisely uh, because sometimes spending the extra couple bucks is going to be better for you in the long run than trying to save and buying the cheapy kind. So let's get into it. Before we dive into the nitty gritty of the hair color spray sprays, please note that if you have blonde to light brown hair, any type of hair color, temporary or not, could pos potentially stain your hair. So please be careful and make sure that when you are washing it out, you are doing so thoroughly with a clarifying shampoo. Also, please note that if you have dark hair, that just because it says that it will show up on dark hair does not necessarily mean that it will show up the same on your dark hair as it will a light brown or blonde person's hair. You do not have to bleach your hair for these products, however, they just might not show up as vibrantly on a dark haired person as they will a light haired person. I will also be linking timestamps in the description box so that you can check out whichever brand you are interested in hearing about. Uh, they will be timestamped so that you can just click right to where you want to go. So the first brand that I absolutely love is the L'Oreal Colorista One Day Hair Color Spray. This is a temporary color. Um, <clears throat> this is my like all-time favorite brand. This is my all-time favorite uh, spray for temporary color. It's just hands down the best performing that I've ever had. A little bit about this product, they offer 10 colors. It is $9.99. You can find it at Walgreens, CVS, Target, you can buy it online, you can I think find it in some Walmarts. Um, generally speaking you can find this in your hair dye section at your big box stores or grocery stores. It's pretty easy to find. With it being $10 a bottle, you only get two ounces in this bottle. It does seem a little pricey but a little bit goes a long way and they are ultra pigmented. I often buy mine when I find it on clearance so that I can stock up um, with every color that I can absolutely find. What I like about these is that they do work on both dark hair and light hair. However, if you do have blonde hair, please be aware that these may stain light blonde hair all the way to like dirty blonde light brown hair they could stain I personally have never had an issue with it staining my hair however my daughter who is a natural blonde <laughs> these colors have stained her hair quite a few times not that I care because I'm the one that's putting it in there but just letting you know if you have family pictures coming up or something like that these do stain I personally like to use these throughout the year as a root touch-up for my crazy hair color um, but these are going to be the best pigment for your buck the one downside that I do have to these is that when you put them in your hair, they are a little hard to brush through. So make sure that you have your hair styled the way that you would like it, and then lightly spray in the color to build it up to what you want it to. Um, it can be a little difficult sometimes to, when you're distributing the color, it can sometimes burst out, so just be aware of that light strokes, light bursts and strokes will help you to distribute this evenly. Again, $10, 10 colors, it's my favorite, hands down, there you go. L'Oreal Colorista also has what they call hair makeup. This is kind of like a gelish, like a pigmented gel or like serum or like, I don't want to call it a wax because it is not a wax. But the only color, the only like phrase that's coming to my mind is like a cream or like a gel. It's a pigmented, creamy gel. These are meant for light 
brown to blonde hair. They're not necessarily meant for dark hair or dark roots or anything like that. They do have specific hair colors or hair makeup colors that are meant for brunettes, so be sure you're checking your packages if it's meant for blondes or brunettes. So this blue that I have is meant for brunettes and black hair. This red that I have is meant for blondes and highlighted hair. The L'Oreal Hair Makeup retails anywhere from $7.99 to $2.99. Again, I buy mine on clearance or sale anytime I can get it. These are very pigmented. However, I will say the downsides to these are that the application can be a little bit messy and sometimes it leaves your hair feeling stringy or you have to apply a hair dryer or heat to it to make it feel like hair. Um, and sometimes that's like not the best. Also, these are really hard for like all over pigment, whereas the Colorista sprays, you can do like your whole head. These are really more meant for like streaks, accents, they're really not meant for your whole head. Um, so I would generally pass on these if you're trying to do like a whole head look, but if your costume requires just like a streak or a couple highlights of blue or red or silver or whatever, these might be a good option for you. They do offer them in 14 colors, however they are not all available in stores and the hair makeup that stores do carry are very limited because I don't think that they sell very well in the stores. But L'Oreal carries 14 colors of them. The next brand that we are going to be talking about is Be Wild or Be Natural. This is by like Jerome something. I'm really not quite sure. I will link it down in the description box below. These are $4.79 each or like $6 each. You can find them on sale a lot. They sell these at CVS, Walmart, um, Walgreens. Uh, I think they sell them at like grocery stores too. These are not my favorites. Um, they smell terrible. They smell like bad old lady perfume. Like I cannot tell you how bad these smell. However, that being said, they are extremely pigmented. They do offer a lot of pigment for the spray itself. It is a little bit of a wet spray, so if you are spraying it close to your head, you will have it like dripping. However, if you spray it from far away and you aerosol it on your hair, you will be good to go. These are the probably most affordable option, I feel like. So for the bang for your buck, these are the way to go. These are definitely a finishing spray, so they are hard to comb through once you have applied it to your hair. So be sure to style your hair first and then spray these on top because these are kind of like a very pigmented hairspray and you will not be able to brush through your hair after putting these on just letting you know. Um, my daughter loves these though. I don't know how many colors they offer because when I looked online at some retailers, they only carried select colors, like five colors. But then when I went to Google Images, they had like a plethora of different colors. I've only ever found like black, pink, blue, and red. I have seen green a couple places, but most people only carry like the primary colors and that's about it. They're a good costume option, however, for everyday use or for regular use, I do not recommend them only because the scent is so unbelievably disgusting. So be aware, you might need to keep some aspirin on you in case you get a headache from the scent of these. It's really bad. All right, the next brand that we are going to talk about is Dark and Lovely Go Intense Color Sprays. I really like these for many reasons. They retail for about $7.79. I've gotten mine on sale. Uh, there's an unknown amount of colors out there because, again, as I was trying to find online retailers that carried these, I know Sally's does, and I found these ones at Target. They only carry select colors, uh, but then when you went to Google Images, they carried like seven or eight colors. Um, so I will have to do a little bit more digging on where you can find the whole range of these, but these ones are particularly great for dark hair. I think that they are actually more catered to African-American women. 
However, these are great if you have like black to dark hair. They work on all hair types. The only thing that I will say about these is that they do tend to lean a little bit more on the metallic side. So they do have like a lot of shimmer and they are a little bit more like on the pastel side rather than a very like deep bright blue or a deep bright purple. You're getting a little bit more of a metallic-y purple, a metallic-y blue with a lot of shimmer in it. It isn't as intense, but it's definitely beautiful and eye-catching, and these are extremely pigmented as well. Again, just with all the other ones, these are <laughs> finishing sprays. Make sure you style your hair first, then spray the spray on. You will probably not be getting a comb through your hair at all after you spray these. Um, they are a little bit hard to find in store, but again, I'll try to see if I can find a more reliable re like online retailer for these, but I do know that Sally's keeps a limited supply or a limited color option for these, but still a great option or great brand that is out there and available. Our next brand is Beyond the Zone Color Bombs. These have a wide variety of colors. They have 12 different shades and it is $5.79. They are available at Sally's. Now, I really like Beyond the Zone for many, many things and I was very excited to try this when I picked it up. However, I was very disappointed by this gunmetal shade. It did not perform the way I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be very pigmented, especially the way the nozzle is designed. I thought it was just going to be a little bit more intense than it really was. It was more of a light sheer mist. There wasn't as much pigment in it. And this says that it glows under black light. I have black lights and I tried it and I didn't feel like I found that effect was all that great. Maybe I'll try and give it another shot However, for $5.79, the application was wet. It was hard to use on dark hair. This also gets very mixed reviews online. Some people really, really love them. Other people really, really hate them. I just think that if you're going to invest your money in a Halloween or a one-time use thing, your money is better spent elsewhere than these color bombs. I think that Beyond the Zone has a little bit of formulating to do before they actually have like a true wonderful product. So yeah, just wouldn't recommend. However, they do offer a lot of colors. So maybe if you can't find your color in another brand, you know, try the color bombs. But again, don't have high hopes. I just, it wasn't a, it wasn't a yes from me. It was a no. Next brand, Ava NYC Chameleon Hair Color Temporary Color Sprays. These are $10. They offer three colors, pink, blue, and purple. I had the pink one. I got it at Kohl's, I think. Um, you can find these at Kohl's online. I think they offer them at Sally's and maybe Target. Don't quote me on that. They're very nice. They have argan oil and caravis, whatever that is, for a vibrant color brushable finish for all the hair shades. I don't think it's a brushable finish. Personally, this has a lot more good things for your hair. It is very pigmented. We used this on my husband's beard last year for uh, his Prince Gumball look for our Halloween costumes and it definitely did the job. Um, the only thing that I will say is you only get 1.5 ounces in this, so $10 for 1.5 ounces to me is a little bit steep compared to uh, like the coloristas that you can find coupons and get them on sale for and things like that. However, um, again, Ava NYC has more like good things for your hair in this. So there's also the note of the limited color options as well. They only offer pink, purple, and blue. A little hard to find in store sometimes, but on online retailers are great. This is good just the same as the Coloristas. There's just limited color options. One of our last brands is this temporary hair color from Walmart. This was in the hair color, 
This was in the Halloween costume section. I got these last year. They still work. They have them this year. I got mine for $1.98, but I think they're $2.98 this year. Um, I have a plethora of colors. They all work just fine. They all are very pigmented, and they do deposit the color the way they say they will. However, it's basically just spray paint in a can that washes away. Um, they're very wet. They are a very wet application. They are a very uneven application. There is a greater risk of these staining. I sprayed these on a wig and then I tried to wash the wig out. The colors did not come out as easily as I had anticipated them coming out, which was a little frustrating. Um, but yeah, last minute, you know, costume, hair color if you need it, Walmart hair colors are a good fit. However, there are better, cheaper options out there, and these are probably terribly damaging to your hair. Like I said, they're essentially just like spray paint. It's like tempera spray paint, washable spray paint. So, however, they're a decent option and cheap. I would not recommend them only because there are so many other great options out there. Alright guys, that was the video. That was my knowledge on some of the brands that I have tried. I know that there are probably other color sprays out there. Um, I just haven't tried all of them yet. I'm sure I will get to them once I have. If you have tried a hair color spray that I have not mentioned in this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below for not only my knowledge but for other viewers' knowledge as well so that we can compile a whole list of what is the best and worst of the hair color sprays that are out there. Please note that if you have blonde hair or light brown hair that any type of temporary hair color will likely stain your hair. So please beware whenever you use a temporary hair color. If Even if it says that it washes out, there is a risk of staining. Also know that if you have very dark brown hair, there is a chance that the color might not show up because your hair is too dark. Just because you don't necessarily have to bleach your hair to use the product does not necessarily mean it's going to show up the same on a dark hair person than a light haired person. So let's keep that in mind as well. All of these sprays that I have showed you claim that they do wash out. I have never had a problem with them washing out on me. My, bl my blonde daughter, however, has had some issues with some of these sprays washing out. So again, just beware, buy a clarifying shampoo, give yourself a couple days after Halloween to make sure that you can scrub it out real well. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.